Guys, how we doing? Welcome to the channel. Today we are out on the new property, blazing a trail. You know, we couldn't even, well, you can see it back there, the truck and the trailer, that's as far as it's been able to get onto the property. It was just too thick and overgrown. So step one, blaze a trail so we can get the truck and trailer on the property. And as always, we are sponsored by Bora. If you are looking for a stability solution for your machine, tractor, truck, UTV, maybe a skid steer if you need to put some tracks or something else on it, Bora can help, check out the link below. And we are just getting started developing this new property. Just closed on it a week or 10 days ago. Did a little bit of mowing with the flail mower, but if you want to stick around and join the journey, this is like the first project, major project that we're doing out here, kind of getting the pathway uh, blazed. So I'd love to have you follow along. Hit that subscribe button down below. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for something like one of these mulchers, eh, we don't get too many skid steers. We get a lot of tractor stuff though, all sorts of tractor attachments as well. We can help check out Good Works Tractors. So this is a Bombalite brush fryer. It is a mulcher head. You can get these for skid steers, for tractors, and the three point, a lot of different sizes and configurations, but this is an ideal application for it. Years and years and years of dense undergrowth and overgrowth and all sorts of growth. Huge things that we probably shouldn't have mulched because it, it bogged this thing down and stalled it out a handful of times, which is no big deal. Uh, it's a safety feature of it, but we're tackling just gigantic autumn models and everything you can think of in this area and you just don't know what you're hitting until you get into it because it's so thick. I originally had this mulcher for a skid steer out of my hunting lease last year and um, we didn't get too much mulching done. It was more of a how to get yourself unstuck with the mulcher head video and that went okay. We got that we got that unstuck eventually and this is a different skid steer, a 330G, about a five foot wide. It's the model MS560 mulcher head on here. Um, the right size for it, I think. It ends up with the with the feet and, and the body of it being about six foot wide, which matches the width or just slightly larger than the, than the skid steer itself. And so I probably have six or seven hours on it and Chris will give you a close-up of the teeth. Uh, I mean they're almost in amazingly good shape considering what we've gone through. Not as many rocks in this area as opposed to my hunting lease where the first two or three hours were put on but uh, very well built, very rugged and durable. This beefy bar really helps to push everything over and imagine if you're on a tractor it's gonna be the same thing. You're backing up and this is kind of pushing uh, the trunks and everything away from it and feeding it down to allow all these teeth to rip it up and, and just turn it into you know, the, the scattered debris that we see on the ground. But don't be fooled, these things, while they look mean and they are amazing to use, a whole lot of fun, they are priced sky high. <laughs> They're very expensive, so this is something, if you are looking, maybe you have some big projects on your own property and maybe you're looking for a side business or you wanna expand your landscaping business or whatever the case is, this could be a good option to consider because if you get one of these, there's not gonna be that many folks in your area, typically, that are gonna have one as well because it is a large investment. So you're gonna be able to set your price a little bit higher uh, on a rate per hour to get those nastier jobs tackle that most other folks with a regular brush hog just can't handle. There's no way a brush hog is gonna handle anything like what you see around here. It's just too thick and nasty. Now, while they do make these again for a tractor mounted on a three point, I feel like that would be, you know, we've been out here for three hours or something like that. That would be um, not a lot of fun to be leaning backwards, driving backwards constantly and then back and forth, you know, this way, that way, turning your back and everything for, for an extended period of time. So I really like this mounted on a skid steer. I think that's probably a more realistic and um, operator friendly application. And to be honest, this is as much as I've sweated all day. I was actually inside of this air conditioned cab and I was feeling pretty good. And you know, I think Chris looked okay out here in, in the 92, was it 92 degrees today? So I mean, I asked him for the record, I asked him if he wanted to get in there and try it out, but he said no. And I didn't ask him a second time, like, are you sure? I didn't, I didn't say that. So we're gonna put the full specs in the listing. You know, the different models have different flow rates for the hydraulics and different size requirements on like uh, PTO horsepower. If you do wanna get a tractor three point mounted version, we'll put that information in the listing and even a link there where you can find it on Bombalite's website. Again, we are a Bombalite dealer. So we can ship all over the country. If you wanna place an order through us, we can ship it out to you. Happy to help with that. A lot of these items are gonna have a lead time, not, not an item that we stock. You know, it's not a very high seller given the price point of it and it's a pretty specialized market. So keep that in mind. If you're planning maybe for next spring or you know, just plan ahead, I guess is what I'm saying because they are gonna have a decent lead time. And uh, it is one of those things we can offer a layaway. So if you wanna order it say in the fall, 
for spring shipment, you know, you can split up that payment over, you know, six months if you want to. We're not going to charge you any interest. Just kind of lock it, get it on the books, and then pay it off chunk by chunk. All righty, guys. Well, got to get back to it. There's a lot of stuff left to be done. We're going to knock out what we can today. We'll be back, I don't know, in a couple days. Whenever time permits, there's always going to be a project waiting.
gate and kind of this outer path here so the truck can swing wide. I think we'll be able to be done with this area and then we can work on widening that. And then I'd like to just pull the truck in here off the road and see if it works as bad. And we can pull it all the way through and I can turn around the field up there whenever you know.
I don't know if you find it as impressive as I do, but I think it is pretty, pretty stinking sweet. This thing is cutting down. Well, we put my foot across one of the clusters of, of stumps and it was 12 or 13 inches across and it takes a few passes back and forth. And that's one of the times, probably one of the several times it's bogged down, but I can't imagine trying to do this by hand or with a, uh, with a chainsaw or anything else. It's just the way to go about it right here. It's the cat's meow. I got a lot of projects coming up for this mulcher head. I got more to do, so I'm gonna get to it. If you like what you saw here today, I would love to get a thumbs up from you. If you wanna see more about the development of this property, kind of the journey that we're gonna take, it's just getting started, so it's a great time to hit that subscribe button below. And if you're looking for something for your tractor or your skid steer, we're happy to help. Check us out at goodworkstractors.com. Thanks again for stopping by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.